Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to a GBHL YouTube channel video, your Hiwi channel host GBHL James bringing you another hobby vlog coming a little bit later than uh, than usual, I am doing this on Tuesday but that's because it is Tuesday right now and uh, I'm in panic mode because I've been trying to get my Rivendell Night Force ready obviously for the Nova Open and I'm starting to realise that my painting has been very slow and I'm not getting a lot of time at all and a big part of that reason is this little dude here, Bilbo, Bilbo Say hello to everybody. Look at him. Yeah. Very, very hard not to spend time with this guy. He's having a nice little rest. Um, but it is Tuesday. We have gone out and we ran a class today. We've been in the park, haven't we, Bilbo? And uh, we've come back and I thought, you know what? I need to make some progress. Um, so we sat here in the living room, just had a, a coffee in me, uh, Mr. Mickey Mouse cup there. And uh, I'm trying to do some painting. We're doing it in here because it's a little bit dark in the dining room and my uh, my painting light bulb has gone. We've got Spartacus over on over there, so giving you a little bit of an idea of the atmosphere in here. And, uh, and this is what progress that I have made. So, uh, on the Rivendell Nights that you've seen so far, uh, let me just see if that gets into focus. Progress that I've made. Well, the horses are nearly done. I've just got to do the eyes and teeth and also... Um, a little bit more work on the mains, I think. I don't know what you can see there. I also put the blue um, for the saddle cloth, which I think works quite well. Remember, these are, I'm going for kind of like a British Imperial esque kind of look for these guys. Let's see if we can have a look at another couple of others. There we go. So you can see the horses are nearly done, which I'm pretty pleased about. Uh, the work that Kit still needs doing on them, I need to do the hooves, the eyes, the teeth the tongues. Uh, I also need to go over the browns on the actual riders themselves and then when that's done uh, these will be pretty much done. I wanted to do a little bit of a pattern on the blue as well. I don't know if you can see the blue there. I'm not 100% happy with the highlighting up on that blue. Um, I've never used the uh, is it the Macrage blue? I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? Macrag? I've got no idea what that is. That's obviously some kind of Warhammer reference that I'm not sure of and, uh, and then I also use uh, took it up to this Calgar blue here um, so not 100% happy with the, the highlights there um, but you know we are getting there, here's, here's another one uh, but what I have done is I have left them alone to concentrate a little bit more on the uh, on the ones that were black and unpainted now one thing that I was thinking, oh, I'll just show you a little bit of the banner progress so I started off on the banner here um, that was really really late at night. I'm going to do like an orange kind of blazing sun sim symbol there But I wanted to go with the red white and blue again going for that sort of British Imperial kind of look So let me know what you think about that guys and uh, those experienced painters out there Just give us a few tips about how I can uh, improve these guys because I'm not 100% happy with them I know they're not finished, but um, apart from the cloaks and the armor and the uh, sort of the beigey kind of ivory pants uh, not 100% happy so if you if anybody could give me some advice that would be great uh, obviously with the guys who've got the faces showing um, I do need to get to work and do the hair and the skin um, but you know not a million miles off however I was uh, these guys in were primed in black were sat, sat there and I was looking at them thinking all oh, my days these are going to be hard work now one thing uh, that I've <laughs> that I've kind of learnt, and I don't know if any of you guys have had the same kind of experience. But when painting these Rivendell Knights, I did the horses last because the rest of it is quite fun and easy to do, and horses are, are, are never fun really. Um, but because of the way that the cloaks are, the way that the spears and the shields are, and everything, it's actually quite hard to get to the horse itself. Um, so you have to be really, really careful. And I've, I have actually had to go over and repaint some parts of the of those guys. Uh, so what I've done with these lot is I've actually started painting the horses from the start uh, and something that I've done different is I've actually painted including the mane the absolute same colour because I end up having to paint up and do a highlight of that anyway and it just means I don't have to do two coats because of the black underneath so I have actually just been painting I've done the second coat on these ones that are down here um, just giving them that base colour which is Carrack Stone for the, uh, the champagne colour and then when they've all uh, have got a nice flat colour I will take my uh, my ink I'll take my Agrax Earth shade and I'll just run it into the lines I'm not going to ink the whole thing just run it into the lines and I will probably put some into the main as well uh, and then I will start highlighting up and go for the uh, mains but going for the horses first one thing that uh, I would recommend everybody do 
is don't get tempted to assemble them like I did fully. I would actually keep the knights and the horses separate and I would paint them as two separate entities and then glue them together. That would be my best advice because they're such dynamic poses but it does mean that it it's very hard not to sort of get bits on other. So you can see that I've been very, very rough with putting the paint on. These two still need their uh, the next base coat. But I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a hobby vlog. Just give you a bit of an update. So what I'm hoping to do is, um, is finish the horses um, and maybe get the saddle cloths done on these before I've got to go and do the class today. Uh, and then maybe also do the eyes, mouth, teeth, on the, on the the guys over there, um, so just a little bit of progress there. I will crack on and uh, and I'll come back when I've made that bit of progress. What we build, bro? So strategy battle gamers, a little bit of a progress report of how I've been getting on this afternoon. Um, to give you an idea of the time scale, Spartacus is finished and a little bit of friends is on in the background because I don't think I've got long enough to watch a uh, or get another movie in um, before I've got to go out to class. Bilbo over there is still asleep and I've been here in the, on the paint station in the living room. Um, so yeah, let's have a little bit of a look. So I finished doing the second coat um, on the horses. Um, let's just see if we can focus in on to get a bit of good light in the second coat so it's a nice flat colour. And then what I've also done um, or managed to do with them is also get the Agrax Earth shade and just paint it into the recesses. Um, so again, you've seen with these guys before when I've been doing the other Rivendell Knights, I don't apply the wash all over uh, with these horses. I just paint the lines. Now of course they do need uh, a couple of highlights um, but that means that these guys aren't a million miles away from being done. That's the horses, of course. Uh, so there's another one there. And it's a nice colour. I really do like the uh, the champagne colour that we've gone for here. It's a little bit different to, obviously, everything that I've done with the Rohan, which is what I wanted. I wanted to go for something a bit different. There we go. A bit of an idea there. So I usually put about two lots of highlights on those guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's as far as I've got with those ones. And then whilst the uh, one of their coats was drying before I did the ink, I actually made a little bit of extra progress on uh, on these guys. So what I've actually done is I've worked on the eyes. I put some Doomball brown in the eyes, and then just a little white speck. Uh, also have gone for the tongue and the teeth. Uh, for the teeth, what I did was I did a Baylor brown, um, which is like a dark yellowy colour first and then just put tips of white on them so it's got a little bit of uh, shading in there uh, and I've done that for all of the horses uh, what I also did as well, I wasn't massively happy as you know with the manes and let's just get in and see if we can get a bit more of the face there there we go, tongue and the teeth eyes aren't quite finished yet uh, but something that I have done is I got a little bit of right fresh flesh shade and I painted it into some of the recesses. Not I've tried not to overdo it, um, but try and put it into some of the recesses of the mane and tail, just to create a bit of depth because I felt that the mane was lacking a little bit of depth. Uh, I did want it to be a lighter colour, uh, but I've got one more lot of highlights to go on that, and also give a bit more depth around the face. There's the teeth for the horse. So we're getting there with these guys. Uh, let's have a look at a couple more. Come on, focus. There we go. So as you can see, the faces, the teeth, the mane's nearly done. Just want one final light colour on the manes and I'll be happy with these horses, I think. Uh, and of course I do need to do the hooves as well. I never, I'm never sure which way to go with horses hooves, what kind of colours to go for. Um, so if people could suggest below what kind of colours do you go for when you do your horses hooves. Uh, Bilbo has got up and that means that imminently, any time now, he will need the toilet. So I'm going to break off this hobby vlog um, before I continue. Uh, because I don't want him to go. Hey Bilbo, you alright down there? I don't want him to go. Well, I'm ignoring him, he's having a little stiff round, that means he needs to go in the garden. So that's a little bit of progress, I'll come back when I've made a little bit more progress. Should be one more instalment before the end of this hobby vlog, so I will see you then. So Strategy Battle Gamers, this will be the final instalment of my hobby vlog today, on Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, just to get you updated, Bilbo here, he did need a wee. So I've got you down to a T, haven't I buddy? Uh, he's doing very, very well. 
very very well 95% success rate at the moment I don't think that's too bad okay so this is what I managed to do today I've uh, I think I have finally sort of really crapped through the horses here um, I've given them the highlights and you can see what a huge difference just that highlight can make on the horses some of the shading is a little bit dark um, and of course I do have a final very fine highlight to do and of course I need to lighten up the main areas as well um, but on the whole these guys are the horses aren't too far away from being done and I'm quite pleased about that actually because that means that today I've been mostly getting through what I consider to be the most tedious part of painting these models what I tend to do is is I start off with the most satisfying thing I, f I find the cloaks the most satisfying thing to uh, to get done I seem to have got the red blending down to a bit of a T. So it's very tempting to start off with the things you enjoy most, but that means that you can kind of lose a little bit of uh, inspiration, as it were, and motivation as you get to the latter stage of the model. And really, it's the latter stage of the model where you want to be most inspired because it's those finishing touches which make all of the difference. Um, so I will be leaving you here. As you can see, they've turned out pretty good. I'm quite happy with those. Like I say, I've got a, uh, a very final kind of highlight to do on the actual horses. I'll do their eyes and teeth like I did on the others. Uh, and then I'm going to give a lighter colour over, uh, over the manes on these guys. Um, and then hopefully I'll, I might try and get a second hobby blog out to you sometime later this week. Uh, we don't have a bunch of content for you this week, so um, so it should give you something to watch. I'm going to try and get some battle reports, some other things filmed on Thursday as well. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this hobby vlog. A little bit of a, a continuation of what's been going on with the Rivendell Knights, and you can see a bit of progress with the horses. Um, and that these guys down here are very, very, very nearly done. Um, when I do the final highlight on these guys' white manes, I'm going to, uh, sorry, they're not white, but you know what I mean, the kind of ivory manes, then I'll uh, show you these guys. Um, I To finish these guys off, I just need to go through the browns, so the gloves and the browns on there, and then also uh, do all of the uh, leather straps and, uh, and such on these guys. I also need to do the quiver, and also the, um, oh God, it keeps going a bit fuzzy, sorry about that. And also the um, the Elven Blade, Horster as it were. Uh, so yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. I know that this has been, I've really, really kind of strung out a lot of the, uh, the hobby blogs on the Rivendell Knights. But uh, I am making slow progress and hopefully these guys will be ready for the Nova Open. So don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and get back in Jamie on Patreon and happy strategy battle gaming.